the river at the Yellow House on West 29th. In the year she read Tomas Transtromer, Sweden's 2011 Nobel laureate, the college girl discovered the spring on her running trail along the James Buttermilk Trail near Riverside Drive, where she carried glass jugs in her backpack to collect cool, clear water from Buttermilk Spring, a historic site near Canoe Run Park and Canal, canal Lock Ruins, where workers once stored cans of dairy, milk, butter, buttermilk to deliver throughout Richmond. Images as fresh as spring water populated Trans Tremors poems. Images as fresh as fish pulled from the James, as fresh as the great blue heron standing statuesque, sometimes in a twisted yoga pose on shore, until the moment of flight, soaring low over mirrored water, darting up to tree canopy. River creatures comforted the college girl, reminding her of home beside a reservoir, the dammed up Occoquan River. Trans Tremors poems consoled her at a time when a concussion challenged intellect but sparked creativity, a painting frenzy, until the walls of the yellow house were covered in art. I never joined her on this river run, but today I trace her steps, imagine the rush of spring water, the sound of life crashing out from a natural tap, taste the refreshing snap of her spirit as I swallow. Once, Trans Tremor found his way into the college girl's poem, but she revised him away, each time I read the new version, I missed him there. Perhaps it was the reversal, a daughter introducing her mother teacher to a new poet. I wanted to honor him, to remember him inside a poem, to recall what she'd given me, the half-finished heaven. So I wrote my own poem, beginning at the same yellow house, where she lived only one year. Now, more than four years, almost five, years have passed since she joined Trans Tromer, where, quote, even the ghosts take a drink, where, quote, water glitters between the trees, and I see them together through the window of the river.